So what I'll do is I'll start from outside, just explaining how it's finished, you know, a normal looking house from outside, and I'll come and introduce myself and we'll sort of chat through how it works. That's yeah. okay? We're we'll okay. in a couple of minutes. Yeah, fine. Good morning. Good morning, Simon. Not too bad here in West Bridgewood. If you want some rock, then I've got some rock for you. That's some of the rock which is going to make way for the driveway here. Uh, what from the outside looks like a, a very normal house. It's a new house, still lots of work to be done. The driveway needs finishing. Uh, the garden there has been done, but as I move on to the uh, front of the house here, there are these cobbles in front of the house and some uh, garden work you didn't do anything with the front. But the really exciting stuff is actually inside the house. And as I come inside here and just wipe my feet on the mat, a bit muddy outside, got a nice new smell of a new house. And it's got that nice warm, cosy feel. So this house doesn't have radiators, you'd expect it to be full central heating, but there's a revolutionary new system here. Uh, and I've come to find out more by uh, David Nicholson Cole uh, from the University of Nottingham, who's going to live here. David, good morning. Morning. This is your new house, it's looking very good, and you've got this fantastic new heating system. How does it work? Uh, well, we're heating it from the ground below. We've got two 50 metre deep boreholes, which are 160 feet in old, old lettering, uh, and these um, have high very rugged pipes which go down, they capture the heat from the from the ground. Not volcanic heat, it's such a be the residual heat that's in the earth. And uh, we up here we have a fridge motor. What do you say this is about size I thought of this was your I thought this was your fridge, but I just walked past your big fridge here, one of these American style ones. And this is about the same height. And this is um, what's this big box here? Is this to do with the heating is it? Yeah well this is actually this is a fridge unit. It's, fridge, it's, it's basically heated by a fridge unit. A normal fridge cools the food and the, the heat is wasted. You, it throws heat out the back, which is ventilated into the house. What this is doing is, is the same engine, but it's optimising the heating side of it, which means it's cooling the ground. The, gra the, air, the water goes down into the ground at, at about one degree C, comes back about three degrees warmer, about four, and that temperature difference is converted by the fridge engine into blood heat, which is what all you need for underfloor heating. That circulates around the house. Um, and another, it, has, it, it, can engine, it can work in two modes, it also heats some of the water up to 51 degrees C, which is our hot water. So a nice shower temperature though, isn't it? Absolutely, it's the most wonderful power shower. You don't need to mix it with cold at all, it comes out at the perfect temperature. And if I touch the floor down here, it's actually it's nice and warm. It's not hot, but it's nice and warm. I gather your cat's a huge fan. I think this is probably the first time you regretted not being a cat, because if you were a cat, you would love it. <laughs> One of the problems we have, we have to have a hard floor to get the heat ready to, to work well. If we carpeted it, it, would, it wouldn't the be sufficient. Insulation, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we found that it's quite acoustically quite uh, noisy because my wife can hear the radio in every room of the house because <laughs> it re resounds. If she wants to call my neck, call for me. I can, she can hear me from every corner. But that's the only downside. We actually like hard tiles um, and it works very well. Upstairs, we have thermostats and carpets. Um, there's so much warmth coming off the ground floor, we don't need to actually have the thermostat on. We have them all turned off and the heat just float flows up. Now my gas bill has shot up in the last couple of years, like many people. Um, how expensive is it to do it this way and why, why aren't we all doing it? Uh, we aren't doing it because the, the initial startup cost is very high. We're, we're what's called early adopters. It'll be much cheaper in a few years time. Um, the, the boreholes cost £5,000. That's a big price to pay. But the boreholes have a lifetime of infinity. They will last hundreds of years, 500 years, you could knock this house down, rebuild it three times, and the boreholes will still be there for the next people. Even if the house lives for 500 years, the, the, the um, fridge pump, the heat pump, could live, could be replaced every 25 years using the same boreholes. So it's a very good investment for, for, for our, our descendants. Just quickly, what are the green things do you have here? Well, we, we have an induction hob. We have several things we haven't yet done, we can't do, maybe. Rushcliffe won't let us put a wind turbine up, which we're furious about. Even though we're in a perfect location, we're right on the south, south of West Bridgeford with nothing but fields. Um, solar panels, the person who built the, who started the house um, built it with east and west facing roofs, so we can't get good solar panels. Well, I hope you, uh, you can get those things sorted because it's uh, feeling lovely and warm here and uh, I shall feel very guilty going outside, but thank you for joining me this morning. Well, thank you for talking to me and, and come again. I will do. <laughs> thank you. I should actually, I know, I should have actually so. mentioned to you um, that the university are using, we've got equipment here, right. to, to log how it performs, because there's so few right, of these right, right, right. that, that they, um, they, they
they haven't got good data. You yes, know, the manufacturers yes. make certain claims. Yes, yes. Well, I should. I didn't have time to say to you. Was this machine uses um, one point when it's going when it's going full burn, it's using one point two kilowatts, yeah. which is the same as two small microwaves. Right, right. And that's heating the entire house and all yeah. the hot water. Yeah, so it does use electricity. Not even a kettle, is it? One point three kilowatts. It's less than a kettle. Yeah. The whole house is heated by a kettle. Um, that's the, the power consumption when it's going because it's got a pump that's pumping round the system yeah. and it's got the pump that's pumping round the ground yes, yes. and the fridge batch itself. There's quite a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But having said that, it's extremely efficient, which means it goes into hibernation mode as soon yeah. as you can do. Yeah. If it detects the air temperature is is, is mm -hmm. static, yeah. we haven't opened the doors too off too frequently yeah. recently. Um, it will it will level off and just it'll say it'll it'll be hibernating. Yeah. See, one one light there means it's hibernating. Yes. Yeah. Means it's not doing very much. Yeah. It's, it's ticking over. When it's going, when it's stressed, i.e., we've opened the doors a lot and the windows, yes, and, yes. and maybe she, we've had a shower. Yeah. Other lights will come on, telling us that it is, it's it's boosting. Yeah, yeah. And when you first turn it on, when the water in the tank is completely cold, it has an immersion heater, mm -hmm. so it will actually use electricity yes. to bring it up quickly. Yeah. But it will probably never need it again ever, because mm -hmm. once it's at the right temperature, it stays of forever course, yeah. at 51 yeah. degrees C. Brilliant. And the moment you want a bit of water off from the sink or the shower, mm. it'll just bring it back up to temperature. Yeah. Mainly it's the prevention of Legionnaire's disease. If you allow a hot yes, water tank yes. to cool, like a normal conventional yes. heating system, water tank temperatures can fall. Mm. If you've got a programmer and you don't have your heating come out until 7 mm. in the morning, mm. the water tank after your bath in the evening can be dropped to um, 20 degrees or, mm. or mm. could be could be cold water temperature. Yes, yes. And then you heat up again, you get you the risk of lesion disease with this. And so our water work is red hot for that reason, to prevent yeah. lesionaires. Well it doesn't need to be red hot, it only needs to be fifty five really to be to be guaranteed. Yes. And we could actually check we could up the, we, if we could upgrade the water temperature to to fifty four if we wanted mm. to, we, we can set it on the panel here. Um Anyway, it's a pretty satisfactory system. It does actually your gas bills will keep going up. Mm. Mm. About that. Mm. Um we're using we are actually carbon neutral in one sense in that we buy our electricity from a guaranteed 100% wind power company. Yeah. We pay more for it. Yes, yes. Good Energy is a company that guarantees they only buy wind power, mm. um, which means we are technically carbon zero. Yeah. Um, but but, but um, a true carbon zero house would have its own electrical generation from solar panels and yes, wind yes. and even a CHP system. But then the, yeah. the problem is then you'd have to burn diesel or propane or something. It's, it's almost impossible. Yes. Carbon zero is yeah. it's a dream, yeah. and it's something I thought I could try and do, but I realised rapidly that yes. I couldn't achieve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks ever so much for your time. I'll send, yeah. send the CD to you. Okay. So the red pipe's compressed air. No, the, um, the red pipe's all the transmitter cables. All right. The compressed air is actually in the metal tube in the centre. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Oh, up it goes. Okay, you're not going to go all up, are you? No. Just for the show. Thank you. Not very often you see these. Right. Down it goes.